Badminton is a racket sport played by two opposing players. It can be played in one of two ways, as singles or two opposing pairs as doubles. These players are then positioned on opposite halves of a rectangular court, which is divided by a net. Furthermore, the objective of the sport is to receive points by striking the birdie with the racket, in the way that it not only passes over the net, but also lands on the opponent's half of the court. Thousands of years ago, a game called Battle Door and Shuttlecock was prominent in Greece, India, as well as China. This game was based off of a birdie that was hit back and forth by several players without the presence of a net. The objective of the game was to bat the birdie back and forth while preventing it from hitting the ground for as long as possible. Furthermore, it was originally supposed to be a children's game. This game attracted the Brits' attention who then proceeded to carry the game back to their home country. Afterwards, a similar game was played in Japan, called Hanatsuki. It's a Japanese traditional game similar to badminton, without a net, played with a rectangular wooden paddle, called a Hagoita, and a brightly colored shuttlecock. Afterwards, this game went by the name of Apuna in India. Badminton was launched as a sport in 1873 at the Badminton House, and was referred to as the game of badminton which later got shortened down to badminton. Lastly, the Badminton World Federation was established in 1934. To play badminton, players will need a net, a shuttle, and at least two rackets. Rackets are very lightweight, and as though they may be made of lots of materials, modern badminton rackets are usually made of carbon fiber composites. The shuttle has a round base, usually made of cork, covered in a thin layer of feather or other materials. It's composed of feathers as a result, it flies differently than a ball, which is often used in sports. Badminton shoes are optional, depending on whether or not one is playing it on a professional level or informally. Badminton shoes are lightweight with soles of rubber. The two ways to grip a racket are often referred to as being the forehand grip and the backhand grip. The forehand and the backhand grip look almost the same, there's only one slight difference and that's the placement of your fingers. Use a forehand grip. Start with a split step right after your opponent hits the shuttle. Lead with your racket leg and lunge or sidestep towards the shuttle on your forehand. Shift your body weight onto the leg you have lunged with. Step two, the shot. Rotate the shoulder backward for the backswing. Your wrist is locked and facing upward during the backswing. Unlock it right before hitting the shuttle to generate power. The backhand grip is to hit backhand shots. A backhand stroke requires you to use your thumb, so you should now press your thumb on the wider surface of the badminton grip. Hold the racket with your non-racket hand and place the palm of your racket hand flat on the strings. Slide down and hold the handle as if you were shaking hands with it. Wrap the handle with your little, ring and middle fingers. Turn the racket to the right if you are right-handed, to the left if you are left-handed. Extend the thumb and form a diagonal shape across the back of the racket handle. There should be a gap between the heel of the thumb and the racket. If you turn the racket parallel to the ground, the thumb should be on top. The racket should be held at chest level in front of the individual, while their legs are beside the racket slightly forward. Their feet should be shoulder width apart and their knees and arms should be slightly bent. The court is rectangular and divided into halves by net. Courts are marked differently depending on whether it's a singles or doubles game. The width is slightly altered but the length stays the same, and the doubles court has a shorter serve length dimension. For doubles, the width of the court is 6.1 meters, and for singles, the width is 5.18 meters, and the full length of the court is 13.4 meters. The service Courts are marked by a center line dividing the width of the court by a short service line. 
In doubles, the service court is also marked by a long service line. A match consists of the best of three games of 21 points. Every time there is a serve, there is a point scored. The side winning a rally adds a point to its score. At 20 all, the side which gains a two point lead first wins that game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. And the side winning a game serves first in the next game. When the leading score reaches 11 points, players have a 60 second interval. A two minute interval between each game is allowed. In the third game, players change ends when the leading score reaches 11 points. At the beginning of the game, when it's 0-0 and when the server's score is even, the server serves from the right service court. When the server's score is odd, the server serves from the left service court. If the server wins a rally, the server scores a point and then serves again from the alternate service court. If the receiver wins a rally, the receiver scores a point and becomes the new server. The serve from the appropriate service court, left, their score is odd, and right if it's even. And when the score is even, the server serves from the right service court. When it's odd, the server serves from the left court. If the serving side wins a rally, the serving side scores a point, and the same server serves again from the alternate service court. If the receiving side wins a rally, the receiving side scores a point, and the receiving side becomes the new serving side. And the players do not change their respective service courts until they win a point when they're side serving. A rally can be lost in several ways, by hitting the shuttle into the badminton net, out of bounds, before it crosses the net to your side, or if it strikes your clothing or body rather than your badminton racket. The four main types of serves are the low serve, high serve, flick serve, and drive serve. It can be played using a forehand or backhand grip. The low serve will be most effective if you allow the birdie to land just over the top of the net. This will allow the birdie to land very near to the short service line and will require your opponent to run forward and hopefully miss. It's used to drive the birdie deep into your opponent's court. The serve is usually only useful when playing singles because with doubles the player receiving your serve will likely always stand in the back court. However, this shouldn't be used too often because it can start becoming predictable which will make the receiver stand near the back more often. Flick serves are usually unpredictable, it's the same concept as the low serve, but instead of gently hitting the birdie causing it to land near the short service line, one will flick the wrist quickly to bring the birdie unexpectedly into the opponent's backcourt. The drive serves done using one's forehand underarm actions. It's a quick serve which makes the birdie go low over the net and far into the opponent's court. This is a risky serve because if the opponents manage to hit the birdie back, then it would come back to your side very quickly. The four main types of shots are clear shots, drop shots, smashing, and net play. The objective of the clear shot is to create time. This is often used when the pace of the rally is going too fast and one can no longer keep up with it. They then hit the bird far into the opponent's court to give themselves time to recover. There are two types of drop shots, the fast drop shot which travels down steeply but lands further away from the net and the slow drop shot which does not travel down steeply but lands nearer to the net. The objective of this shot is to slow down the pace of the rally because if it's done correctly it will land just slightly above the net, not giving the opponents time to hit it back to your court. This is the most powerful shot in badminton, it's done using an overhead forehead stroke. Net play is used to dominate the front area of the court. There 
are tournaments of doubles which can be feminine or masculine doubles and there are tournaments of singles which can also be feminine and masculine singles. The five common badminton fouls that player could commit in a badminton game are the contact foul, over the net foul, service foul, receiver foul, and the double hit. When the serve has been delivered, there are two things that you cannot touch during the rally, the badminton net and the shuttle. When your racket goes over the net, when the shuttle is still on the opponent's court, an attempt to hit the shuttle. When the shuttle is struck above waistline, rather than under the waistline. When receiving a serve from your opponent, you cannot move your feet away from where you were standing, only after the birdies hit from the opposing team. This is when the shuttle is hit more than once. Once your racket makes contact with the shuttle, you cannot hit it again until your opponent returns the shot.